Daniel. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> Your name Daniel. Type shit. If you if you could be white and name yourself, go. Uh, George. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't really even think you were going to give me an answer, but uh, now nah, we got to play. Mm-hmm. KJ, go ahead. Uh, I'd probably be like uh, Michael or Stanley. You know? I'm thinking Max. <laughs> Maximilian. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some, some kind of player. Trevor. From, from Grand Theft Auto? Oh, hell <laughs> nah. That's a, <laughs> yeah, not that bum that's ass. A, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cold nigga. What is this here for, bro? We don't need this, nigga. We hold iPads now. If y'all can't tell, we got a new, a whole new setup. Um, Stay up TV then came up a little bit. We got the, um, the thing, Kevin. When I snap my finger, make it turn a different color. Look like we did it on purpose. Uh, we got a whole new um, <laughs> sign. We got new microphones. The sign is crazy. When it, <laughs> nigga, you just. <laughs> And then you made it another blue that you can't even tell. I mean, that was just, you know what I'm saying? It just, that's just what happened. The execution wasn't that good. You got to make that whole vastly different, Kev. You got to turn that bitch from yellow to purple. All right, give me red on three, two, one. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, the red is blue and blue is red on there. Anyway, hey, Kim, tell them, tell them who it is. It's Stay Up TV. Episode, ooh, I don't know. It's right there on the board. There, there you go. We got a board. You show this? That's right. All right. Episode 34. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cam. My nigga sticks in the toe. Yeah. We got a special guest with us. My nigga Cam. We got a special guest with his own intro. Oh, yeah. Actually. Yeah, I forgot. He got his own. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> usually I do all the introductions. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, uh, Daniel. Daniel Trevor George. It's your local astronaut, the motherfucking kid that did. You feel me? Smoking one time for the one time. Free my nigga Trey. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. All right. It's just like that. All right. So this is what we be doing, bro, on Stay Up TV. We come in here and we shoot the shit about um, what's happening in the world at the time. And it really is usually nothing. We don't really tackle the too deep shit like politics but we get into the we get into all the bullshit though so if it's any bullshit that didn't happen in the past eight months best believe we covered it so we gonna talk about some things today and just see you know what i'm saying see what you got to say about it first of all i am the biggest rockets fan y'all probably know well i lied i'm not the biggest rockets fan because i don't go to their games so mm-hmm. i guess which i think is racist by the way, we can get into that though. Why is it that? Why is it that? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was trying to piece it together. Like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna wrap it around, Cam. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it around. Why, when you look at the stands and you look at, you know, what I'm saying, is when you look at the NBA games, who in the stands, bro? I feel you, but I mean that's best part of it. The the, the whole system. Exactly. That's all I'm that's all I was getting to. That exactly. the system that's even affect like, me being a fan of my favorite team. You know what I'm saying? I bro, can't but even... it's bigger than that. Like this whole COVID stay. Oh, you're gonna get deep. Away. I see what's happening. Then go ahead. Bro, that's talk like, your shit. Hey, you already know. Talk your but shit. I mean, like that's just the government. Like people don't understand that shit, but they just initializing us for martial law. They practice running martial law on us. That's what they doing, telling us what times we can and can't be out the house. Yeah, but what this my thing with the martial law shit. What, what are they trying to do that for? What do you mean? Gain power control. For what though? What are they going to do with it? You mean, it I mean, they already got it. Yeah, honestly, they already got like, it. They don't. They got a lot of it. Yeah, they got a lot of it, but I mean, we still got a chance. We still got <clears throat> groups of people that fight for the right thing, you feel me? Like the reason I don't think they're going to do martial law is because America, this is one time I believe white people will stand up and be like, y'all got us fucked up, bro. Y'all not finna send no goddamn tanks and shit down <laughs> our streets. Yeah. We finna bust back. And this is what America was really built on. So that's when them niggas will be like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got us fucked up. We ain't finna do this government shit. Because the whole point of America is to not have the government be like that. So that's the only reason I don't think martial law will happen. But if it do, I don't, I ain't going outside, I'll tell you that. 
I'm sitting my black ass in the house. You won't see me Sit on up. the news getting shot by water cannons. Fuck you know them hoes that send your ass straight down West Tama. I'm going to be mm. right on the porch every day. What a porch, but I mean, shit, jump off that hoe. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, yeah, it's jump off be, the porch. Uh, it's going to be wild they do that martial law shit because that's, that's military checkpoints type shit. But I, yeah. I call bullshit. No way. They don't even, the military, we're at war and shit. What the hell are they doing over here fucking with us for? Why would they just do that? We got a whole war going on. Yeah, the only reason we're at this, it's a pointless war. The only reason we're at this war is because so Trump can keep his presidency. Yeah, I believe that. I've, even though I'm not sure, I have no information on the war Look it whatsoever. Up. Look it up. The war started a week after he got impeached or they were talking about impeaching him. What do I, okay. And I got the iPad. Yeah. Look what do up. I look up? Uh Trump impeachment. <laughs> <laughs> Trump impeachment. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I would definitely start with the Trump impeachment. Well, I didn't even Yo, know we was at war. We at war right now. What, we, we, did we damn near always at war. Yeah, we are. Um, Trump got impeached mm. because I forgot why. Why did he get impeached again? Because, bro, he's fucking they're colluding uh, with Russia and shit. Trying to not rig just the, only that, but yeah, that uh, that bomb he dropped on Syria, like. Like he doing way when he too killed much. they they oh are we at war with them niggas? Remember when we were supposed to like, go to war with them niggas because he killed they they main dude. Oh, I man. thought we were supposed to go to war with Korea or some shit. We are still at war. We with at, Korea. we at, we we still squared up with Korea just staring at each other like, like bucking each yeah, other. That's what's going on with Korea. Like at any given moment, shit can hit we can go all the way left with Korea. Is what I I really don't know that though. This is all just what I. And it's not even the whole the Korea. It's I like came. South Korea, North Korea. Oh. Yeah, North Korea. But South I mean, Korea, like, we cool with South Korea. I feel like if it ever did happen to become like a a war between us and Korea, I don't feel like Korea would last long anyway. Because a lot of the Koreans don't even fuck with their leaders. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't fuck with they. Kim Yo, Jones, the, the, the only fuck? way Korea could beat us in a war is if they sneak attack our goofy ass. Which at, it's 2020. If we get snuck attack again, like Pearl Harbor, which wasn't even a sneak attack, by the way, but. <clears throat> I mean, like we see them niggas coming, we just didn't know what they was coming for. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's bullshit. They knew what they was coming for, bro. Why yeah, the, the hell else the was message, some random ass planes just be flying? Hold on, what you what you just say? I feel like I thought that they like saw them niggas on the radar, and they didn't, or some shit like that. They saw them on the radar. Yeah, and they just I don't know. It looks like huh? this what this is what happened, bro. And mm-hmm. let me remind you, if you listening. That I have no idea if this is a fact or not, but this is what happened. Mm-hmm. The government, <laughs> like them, that. they, they knew that the um, niggas was on the way. They let it happen so we can have a reason to go to war. They wanted to go to war anyway, bro. How does somebody fly all the way from from Japan and just crash into Hawaii and, and nobody? I, I, do and shit a about it. Single engine plane. You feel me? Like, how does that even happen? We couldn't well, just fly well, to. You know, they was, they I was bet you couldn't get your ass in a. Too, I don't so. care. You couldn't just get your <laughs> ass in a plane right now, Cam, and go drive into anything. Them niggas. They're going to shoot your ass down they knew immediately. They, they, they knew they weren't coming back to Japan when they made that trip. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. My point is the, uh, if the U.S. is seeing planes come in from a fucking foreign place, we shooting that shit down, bro. I mean, they shoot shit down all the time. I'm yeah. sure they do. Why would we just let them? Um, they probably just coming to it visit. Was 1945, though. So. Bro, war been happening since it started. That's stupid. <laughs> it's not so stupid in 1945, right, so, so, bro. So, what's your thought about the, the 9 11? <sighs> All right. Who was, the, who was the first dude that we hung? Saddam Hussein or whatever? Mm-hmm. Was that his name? Saddam or is it? Hussein. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he Wasn't he behind 9-11 Or was it Osama Bin Laden He died before 9-11 He died before 9-11 If I'm not mistaken Yeah Neither one of them No No he didn't Saddam Hussein Yeah Neither He died in the 90s He died after Okay so Okay maybe that's a different point then So 9-11 Cause I was thinking Getting the point talking about Qaddafi The nigga that got stabbed in the ass I don't know. Hold on, wait, whoa, wait, <laughs> y'all, wait You don't whoa, know about wait. Kadavi, bro? No, I don't oh. know Kadavi. Bro, you got to Google, man. Look up. Yeah, look oh, up. I heard of Kadavi though, but I, I never. I mean, Ben Laden. Who stabbed? That, who stabbed recently. him in the ass? His, the, his townspeople, like I think Kadavi was the dictator. I think like he was the dictator or whatever, and he finally got like, what is that? Overrun or whatever, and then they hung this nigga, and then they was all like stabbing this nigga in the fucking butthole with, <laughs> with swords and shit. Damn. Yeah, like that shit is treacherous. Damn. So that's like some 
uh, medieval type punishment, bro. Yeah. Yo, but look, um, Saddam Hussein. Let me get into this point real quick before I tell you about nine eleven, which was an inside job. Now I don't know if it was an inside job, That's but we knew to we could have stopped that shit too. No, no, we couldn't. Have. How what, not? Because wasn't nobody on that plane? Just Why like, not? Just the, just like we got remote remote control drones and remote control cars and remote control all that, nigga. Those were pl- uh, drone planes, like you know what I'm saying? Remote planes. Wasn't nobody on the planes? No one died from that. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Bro. Let me tell. You, let me get my conspiracy theory oh, yeah, off first, yeah, yeah, and I then we gonna get into that one because that shit sounds crazy. I got you. All right. Um. Can what you looking up over there? Gaddafi? No, I was just looking up Saddam Hussein. Oh, so anyway, so bro, mm-hmm. um, so this is what happened with bro. He was on our team. He was like in the CIA, mm-hmm. but he I don't really know. I don't remember all the details, but this is basically what happened. He was at war. He was like the president or the whatever of one of the Iran, Iraq, one of them state, one of them countries. And they was like, he had a war going on to the left and to the right of him, right? So America, who wanted the oil in his land, was like giving guns to the people on the right. So he could, so they could help whoop them. And then when he went to go fight the people on the right, the people on the left came and fought. And then America came in and was like, yo, we'll help you fight if you give us your oil. And then he didn't give him the oil. And then we blew his fucking house up and killed his wife and kids and then labeled his ass a terrorist and then found him and hung his ass. Yeah. And they, and look, we grew up our whole lives thinking he was just like some terrible dude when he was just really just out here doing his thing. And America hold him. They gave guns to the ops. So they could shoot you. So now you paying attention to them. The other obstacles snuck up on you. Now you getting whooped in America like, hey, you know we can help you, bro, if you just give us some oil. Yeah. And he's like, I ain't giving you no oil, bro, because you're the reason I'm in this shit. All right, bro, we're going to kill your wife and kids. <laughs> boom, kaboom. Yeah, boom. Now we're now we going to call you a traitor and a terrorist and all that shit. And we're going to tell everybody that you like like the next Hitler and shit. Because I grew up thinking them niggas was just evil. Hey, so you're going to get a, a, a text message from an unknown number. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way. That might not be true. <laughs> this is all hearsay. I have no idea. Fuck Sadan. Let right? me get a text message to stop talking right now. <laughs> but go ahead. Hold on. Wait, bro. Listen. What you mean wasn't nobody on the plane, wasn't nobody bro? nobody on the plane, That's bro. crazy. You yeah, don't think that's like, crazy? I, no. I mean, of course I do. Okay. Like, okay. Let me ask you this. Was it people like, in the buildings? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. There were people working. Yeah, like, you know, like in Call of Duty where they do the Predator missiles and shit? Like all this stuff? Yeah. But that was that was yeah. A but sacrifice. a big ass seven fifty seven is not a predator missile. Two of them. That Two was, big ass. Have was, y'all ever seen seven fifty seven? That was on the way to the Pentagon. That was, but that was a sacrificial, uh, sacrificial. Uh, no, all the planes. The only ones that the only one that had people on it is the one that safely landed, so that there could be news reports. You feel me? Like you got to which one safely landed? They the all fucking Pens- crashed. No, the one in Pennsylvania. I thought that whole crash too. It just didn't crash into nothing. Nah, yeah, I thought everybody they, on that plane died. As well. Yeah, they also yeah, died. Yeah, but I'm saying that's that's the <laughs> one they wrote the story. That's the, that's the one. That's they the one they wrote the, story, the yeah, the yeah. Let's roll bullshit about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, the white man that was like when they was all calling their family not going like down like this. Yeah, 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 all that bullshit that they have but, no uh, idea if that's how it happened, bro. But I mean, you just gotta understand like history just repeat. Our, not, I can't even say history. Our country just repeats itself time and time again, bro. Like every time something big going on, you gotta always go back, like, look back, like. Nigga, look at the Sandy Hook bombing. Look at the Boston Marathon blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Like Sandy Hook was a shooting. Look at the George Floyd shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at this Black Lives Matter shit. Like, all of this shit. Like, bro, all of this shit is irrelevant as fuck, bro. Hold on. Uh, wait, wait. You losing me, KJ. <laughs> no, but you got to I'm trying me. to follow you yeah, back to yeah. 9-11 in the drones, though. Because what Take I'm, me, what tie I'm me saying, back in. Yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is it's all government manipulated. They all do this shit to get a reaction out of the country. Even 9-11? All that shit. Because they wanted you to support the Iraqi war. That's why we went to that war for four fucking years. Or, no, we was in that war for eight years, huh? Obama's whole term. Yeah, we was in... Okay, so that... that See, that that's, that helps my conspiracy that we didn't... It, we didn't fly them into the buildings ourselves. We just knew that that shit was happening and didn't do shit about it. No, we didn't. Because this is what I, this is what I know... Well... Obviously, it's not a real fact, but this is what they put out there as facts. The Amer- America knew the terrorists. They were they were um, labeled as terrorists. They knew when they landed. They knew where they was going to be. They knew everything, and they just let it happen. And that's what they already put out there as facts. That might be a lot, too, but I think if that's a fact, that make more sense because it's like, if we American, we want America to go to get behind the war. We're going to 
let these terrorists that we've been watching blow some shit up. They probably didn't think they was gonna blow up the goddamn World Trade Center though. Mm-hmm. They probably was like, then they just gonna you know make a little pop, little boom, and then we can get everybody to go to war. Niggas went way too far with it, and they tried to blow up the White House and all that shit. And America panicked, and then that's how I think it happened. But nah, that's. But what I just thought, what you mean? It wasn't nobody on there. Why bro, wouldn't nobody be on there, bro? Because like they could never pull like just like Hillary and her fucking emails. They could never pull evidence. They could never pull the the flight dossier or whatever. The flight that the flight records of all the passengers of who sat in what seat was never brought up on either one of those two big ass planes. So you telling me you. It got to be 50 to 70 people on each plane, right? So why? More than that. Hey, listen. Have you heard about Tower 7, though? No. Which is like a tower that fell that had like nothing to fucking do with it. Which is, mm-hmm. hold on. Let me make sure I got these facts right. Kevin, can you do the facts thing? Because this iPad typing, I ain't getting it, bro. It's like <laughs> typing on I'm, I'm going to get a little deeper, though. But I'm just saying, like, all of this shit is like the government. Like, they only do shit. They allow us to see this shit to get reactions out of us. So we move in fear. So we move how they want us to move. You feel me? Like hey, Kevin, type in Tower 7. Like, but they keep fucking up. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, it's people that live all around the trade centers. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, you telling me, like, when people, hundreds of people have the same alibi or the same recollection of what happened. Like, they can hear multiple explosions going on. Like, oh, okay. You know what I'm, I'm with you. Oh, I'm with you. The World Trade Center 7? Uh, yeah. WTC 7? I guess. Look yeah. up the story. Apparently, Okay, apparently, World Building 7, which, I like I said, this is all just shit I heard probably watching Joe Rogan or something. So, it was like, they showed a building, they showed the two buildings collapsing all the time, right? But apparently, it was a whole other building that collapsed that they never showed it. They really just blew up for no fucking reason and killed everybody inside. That's what I heard. It might not even be Tower 7. I don't know, but that's just what Possibly, I heard. Possibly, but I'm just saying. Like, they blew up both buildings, though. I believe that. I believe. Yeah, they did. But I don't. But I still think it was people on the planes. I just don't see. Nah, because I mean, like they would say. Because if, if they're going to kill everybody in the building, why not just fuck, fuck them extra 60 people? Bro, you got to do your research, man. Like I'm saying, like look that shit up. Because they say when them planes hit, you can see the explosions from like 10 floors down. How the fuck is it going to explode 10 floors down? You know what I'm saying? From where the plane enters the building, the side of the building, you see, already see explosions. It was a timed explosion. You know what I'm saying? All that shit was remote. You know what I'm saying? Our military does this shit all the time. So it's the Seven World Trade Center building? <laughs> yeah, hey, Kevin, first of all, mm. you, should, you should probably come talk to a mic. We can't really hear you. Yeah. Mm. So get all the information and then hit us with it. Because we can't hear you. But yeah, like I'm saying, like the uh, the floors were blown up. But I'm saying, like America always fucking up. There's always there's breadcrumbs, always breadcrumbs, bro. You just gotta be able to pay attention. You gotta pay, like, stay woke. But people don't even understand what the fuck stay woke mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with you on the stay woke. I'm just trying to. Let me get I'm with back. you on 9/11 too. Let I'm with you on everywhere until you say nobody's get, on the plane. Not, because let me I, get, everything I, else, I agree. I I believe they blew that shit up because no, because everybody says that. That jet fuel can't burn steel, and that's a big ass building that's like designed for impact and all that shit. They say it was the most world at, class at, building ever. Look at how fast the fucking building yeah, fell they, down, and the it entire, fell down right on top of each other. It didn't the lean over. Entire nothing. building, exactly. it collapsed directly. So I believe you on that. But all the people who died on the ground, all the people who died in the building. Why would they be like, no, let's not put nobody on the planes? Fuck them people on the planes if we finna kill they ain't the ones all that, these thousands they're, they're of people. The ones that, they ain't the ones that make the decision. Who make the decision? Some nigga in the office drinking coffee, smoking a fucking cigar. But why would he give a fuck about if the because planes was get, empty or full? he get paid to give a fuck. So the terrorists flew empty planes? That's stupid. They, no. Oh, nobody no flew a plane. So there was no terrorists. Yeah, nah. There wasn't there was no, no terrorists. No, that's why there was all bullshit names. Just like, what, what example do you want? You want Sandy Hook? Or do you want the Boston Marathon? Um, because <laughs> I, I can tell your you, your stomach. Give me both. Them. All right, yeah. Sandy Hook mm-hmm. was the, uh, the school shooting with all them little kids and everything, right? Y'all mm-hmm. remember that? All right, uh, there was a teacher that supposedly sacrificed her life for the life of all them little kids. Now we're gonna talk to this Boston bombing. The same woman that sacrificed her life in that Sandy Hook school shooting was the lady that held her in the, held the interview. On CNN and MSNB uh, uh, about the Boston bombing, the same exact woman. 
But America don't pay attention to that because they're so worried about the shit that they hear. Like, but oh, is that one hundred percent facts, bro? Look it up. Kevin's the facts guy. I know that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, look yeah. it up. You, you can, say. I, I'm only I'm only human being just like you. You got to do your own research. Because I okay okay I'm I'm with you on that too. I remember because look, bro, I'm I die to find a good. America lying about some shit story. Bro, they so I be searching for it, but it's like a lot of the shit don't get it don't be enough evidence for me to fully believe. It don't I, shit be fishy, but it be it don't be enough evidence for me to to come to a conclusion about nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like So, how would you Yeah, feel? they okay, they say cuz I also seen some lady say like they interviewed some lady and she was like Y'all got us fucked up. Like, it's even, like, why the fuck would I lie about my fucking daughter being killed? They had a vigil. They had all their family out there. She's like, why the fuck would I lie about my daughter being killed? Like, what type of sick-ass people is y'all? So, you got both sides. And I, was like, I feel you on that, because who the fuck would lie about their fucking daughter being killed? Saying. That's why I'm bringing it back to today. That's why I'm bringing it back to George Floyd. Because okay, bring it back. Because it's all about, uh, I said the name earlier, uh, drama actors, like, um... Crisis actors. Crisis actors, yes, bro. They all get paid for that shit. Like, that nigga, George Floyd was a 33-degree Mason, bro. Okay. That okay. nigga got paid hella bread to... What is a 33-degree Mason? The white man's toy. How do you get paid if you're dead? What do you mean? That nigga didn't die. Oh, my God, KJ. I, you, we, who, I need who, a drink. Who's to say? Like, I need a drink. Okay, if this man is dead, show me his death certificate. It's supposed to be a public record of any death. Why can't I see his death certificate? Why can't we find Obama's birth certificate? You know what I'm saying? They playing y'all like y'all fucking fools and people don't understand because they don't want to put the work in the, you know what I'm saying? The Yo, I can't out. find my birth certificate. I'm sorry. Ask your mom. But she she gonna be like, shit, if your granny probably had it. My granny gonna be like, shit, I don't know what it's at. Okay, but, but my I point mean, is, why does that mean something? But I mean, but it shouldn't be hard for you to get your birth certificate. You should just to like, go, go be able to get it? Security. Yes, you go to the social security office and get it. Okay, but I remember when the they couldn't find Obama's birth certificate, and then they found his. I remember they they proved that Trump was wrong. But it don't even shit. matter, bro. I can't pass a fucking drug test, and I can't get a job. But you can't find your birth certificate, and you can become the president of my motherfucking country. Oh, that's like, what you're saying. Yeah, like, but did, but that's what I'm saying. How true is it that they couldn't find his birth certificate? Man, because I because the main nigga I heard saying that was Donald Trump, who a lying ass nigga. So how know. much how much stake can we put in that? It's just like bro, like I like my. Father. He also was saying that Obama was fucking like. He said a lot of things about Obama. I mean, that was just, Obama was gay. Just, <laughs> Obama gay in a bitch. Whoa, yo. Like, I wasn't prepared for this type of pod today, KJ. Wait. You didn't tell me you was shooting from half court as soon as you Wake crossed the up, line. Bro. And I'm sinking like, them hoes. Like, God bro. damn, you pulling that hoe today, huh? You gotta do your thing, though. Like, that nigga stepping across the... He pointed at the half yeah, court yeah, like yeah. last, like LaMelo. I'm like five seconds into the shot right clock. There, bro. He ain't bro, I'm telling you. I, that nigga's running his own offense today. Guys. Hey. Most, Michelle... What a man! Like, oh my oh, god, Jesus. bro, bro! I'm just KJ. You can't honestly believe <laughs> all the time out. You can't honestly just believe everything just because it's, it's a not conspiracy. Everything. It's not. It's just about a conspiracy. It's about how God created a man and a woman. Men have certain bone structures. Women have certain bone structures. Our shoulders, as men, are built differently than women. We have broad shoulders. So women Michelle have, Obama is a man, bro. You ain't gotta listen to me. Watch her <laughs> shit. Watch her. Watch when she did that little dance thing on Ellen. Look between her legs. You see that. You see a bulge, my nigga. Like there's multiple times where there's evidential proof that she got a dick. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said before, even Michelle, like there, there's multiple claims of Obama's gay activities when he was in college. Okay, you know well, so, he went to college. He was a hippie. I, I can believe he probably probably sucked some dick with some crack. But that don't got nothing to do with. No, I think he was getting popped. Like, I think but this is what I'm saying though. It's also Wait, man, it's also the kids. They are yeah. I was just saying it's also scientifically proven that them are Michelle's kids. How, who who said they that? have birth certificates? Who said who, who the said kids it was have that? birth certificates? Who, who said Michelle was? This is what I'm saying. You need proof for the kids, but Michelle's a man. You saw the Ellen video. I'm you believe that shit? I, I'm not saying I need proof because them kids is adopted, bro. You got me. Where are you up. getting this from, bro? Look, look at them fucking kids. Who do Malia look like? Michelle and Obama Where? mixed together. Where? They just old. No. Dude, no. you got to look at you got to remember that the Obamas are old parents. So they don't look I can't be this Okay, high. for example, when Kevin 50 years old, 
he not gonna look like how he do right now. So when his son look like him right now, he gonna be like, mm, I don't even really look like you. I That's because know. you look like me when I was fucking twenty. Obama's fifty eight years old. I don't know. My dad's sixty three. I'm thirty. I look like my fucking dad. I'm Michelle, look like my dad. Michelle no. probably look like her dad too. No, no, no. This is different. You, your dad, your dad's how old is your dad? My dad's sixty three. You how thirty? Thirty. Um. These Obama kids are 20 years old and their daddy is. Okay, but I look like my dad my whole life. So, like, where's the change or when is when is it going to kick in? When the jeans going to so kick you mean, in? Okay, so wait, wait, like, wait, pause, 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 pause. You basing all of this on Michelle has wide shoulders, her kids don't look like her, and you just saw her dancing on the Ellen Jenner's video funny. Oh, no, no, no. Because what are you, because you, you, because ain't of, nothing you said is like. I watch it's like a lot of, I credible, watch, like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I None understand. of this makes sense. I understand, but I mean, like, that's why I say you got to, like, kind of just... You just kind of got to just believe it already. No. And then when you see it, you'll be like, yep, there you go. No, I'm not saying believe no. it at all. I'm saying take it like my dad. And feel free me. to chime in on anything we I've talk about today, to, Cam. I've been trying to Don't, find pictures. He looking, look, uh, of Michelle's... What Michelle, you, Michelle Obama was, pregnant. That's what, I've been look, that's what I looked up. And I... Can't, can't find, find shit. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, wait, 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 wait. Who the hell was Michelle Obama when she was pregnant? Why would she have? Wasn't no paparazzi following her? What woman? wasn't on Instagram? Is, what woman don't take a pregnancy photo? Okay, bro. I, I know plenty of women in my family. I don't know. I haven't seen that nam a pregnancy picture in my oh, damn life. Okay, but none of your nobody in your family became the first lady of the fucking country. So you gotta understand, so, she became a person of very good importance. So it gotta be somebody in the world that's scraping the bottom of the fucking sea to find anything on this woman. You why would they be doing that though? Because she we, already had kids. She, got when to, she became she the got, first lady. She didn't just get pregnant. She them goddamn kids was fifteen got, years old. She when got she two was, kids and no belly pictures. Yo, when them kids was born, it was the fucking early 2000s, bro. She built like an NFL receiver. She No, she's not. <laughs> no, she not. What? Hey, yo, Michelle is, is not built like bad. No, she she really a little not. muscular, but Serena Williams, Serena Williams a man too. You seen her shoulders? Nah, that bitch swole. She work out though. Like, I understand Serena be in the gym. She be in the field, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Michelle don't do nothing but walk around and look pretty. She still swole in a bitch. You seen this bitch play basketball? I, no, I haven't seen her play basketball. That's what I'm saying. Where the iPad? <laughs> y'all didn't, y'all what, didn't. What, what? What? Did she hoop really good? Bro, she out there looking like a goddamn NBA player, bro. Like, Yo, Michelle is not a dude, bro. That's cool. That is some extremist shit, bro. What? Yeah, that is. Cause I mean, no, I can't, I can't see Michelle being a nigga, bro. Cause okay, let's say boom. I'm gonna have. I can't see it. It's. I mean. You don't see no, no, there are no pictures of her pregnant, you know, but I mean, at the same time, I, I just can't see no, her being a Bro, man. why would there be pictures of anybody pregnant unless they put them out there? Did y'all see pictures of Beyonce pregnant before she posted pictures of her pregnant? Did y'all see pictures of Nicki Minaj pregnant before she just posted her pictures of her pregnant? Did y'all see pictures of Cardi B pregnant before she posted that she was pregnant? Fuck no. Y'all actually, didn't see none of this shit. Actually, we did see Nicki before she posted it. When? Pictures. Just because it wasn't a Photoshop edited glistening picture on Instagram. When did she post? When did she ever pop, post that she was pop, pregnant? She didn't post it. The paparazzi. She, the bitch is famous, so people take a picture of the bitch all day. Every okay, day. nobody got Beyonce. The thing is, yeah, the fact. kids look just yeah. like uh, Michelle, though. That's what I'm saying. Yo, listen, like, fuck that. Nobody got Beyonce, and that was in 2015. You talking about 2001? These I kids were born, and somebody's that. supposed to be taking pictures of a random bitch from Chicago who's pregnant. Why would there be pictures of that? They would. There don't even make sense for them to be some fucking pictures of her pregnant. She was pregnant in the early two thousands, late nineties. She wasn't shit. So I can't. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking up. But she wasn't me, shit. Why me, would they? Who take a picture? She might have some family pictures, but you telling me if, when your grandmama was pregnant with your daddy? Mm -hmm. She went like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? No, they didn't hell take I, selfies, hell nigga. No, my hell grand, no. My I, I have no Kevin, pictures of, what pictures I've have you seen, seen of any pregnant. any of the women in our family pregnant? And I've they got hella them. pictures. They got pictures of everything else. Now, one <laughs> you won't find a picture of nobody pregnant. They, they don't have it. So That's just how it is. So you telling me every pregnancy was an accident? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see how you think. Hey, I see how you think now. It all makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense how you think. I understand. Like, what's the, what's I, you man? connect dots. No. You think everything has to mean something. I feel that, though. I feel that. that I mean, That just let me know how you see shit. You see shit and be like, oh, that must mean that. Yeah. I see it. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. And I, it, but it, I'm, it do sure not be right. most, I'm sure most pregnancies in our family were probably accidental. 
I'm almost positive. We not I, the, I mean, we not the, think, we not the old happy go lucky traditional no, see, family. But, but why not? I generally think every pregnancy is a fucking accident. Most pregnancies exactly, probably accident. Who the fuck like, plans to get pregnant? Exactly, That's well, crazy. White folk. But I'm just saying, like exactly, like we in love. Bitch, Don't say fuck. that. Kevin gonna be like, no. Well, black people. <laughs> no, do they it too. do not. <laughs> black people sometimes do <laughs> well, it. Well, I mean. It just depends on the situation when niggas do that shit. Because you no. was finna get somebody pregnant on it purpose. Cam been... forgot. Le- You're crazy. No. <laughs> Cam is the type to like, yeah, I'm put a baby in you and be for real. Never. Nigga. It all depends on like <laughs> what Never. the relationship is like and how the delivery is. Like how the woman tells the dude. Like, I'm not getting like, no girlfriend pregnant. Like, facts. If it's like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, on purpose. Baby. On accident either. You can't. That don't even make sense, bro. You can't say I will never have yeah. an accident. Uh, I'm 30 years old with no kids. Well, you can say you haven't had an accident, but you can't say I would never have an accident. Pull up, game flawless. It might not yeah. even be flawless. How you know you ain't ain't nobody Plan B do behind the back? Skirt. How you know you ain't got kids out here that Skirt. you just didn't know? I was in a 10 year relationship, faithful. Skirt be lying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I want no way. Right, you these niggas for ten years. For ten years, my that ass. I don't count. believe you, bro. Right. That is cow. Out, out, out of the ten year, because he said was in a ten year relationship. I was faithful for the for, for a good seven. With was it was it was it seven consecutive yeah. or was it like the first six months? Nah, you the know what I'm saying. The, the, the back the back of, end for the beginning of the relationship was trash, and then you got better. Oh yeah, I I learned so to you, take care of my son, and you know what I'm saying. So let me ask you something: Do you think you can be in love with a woman and still cheat on her? Nah. So once you in love with a but woman, but I mean, you you, you, you never you pretty cheat much on. do though. Like everyone cheating, because I mean, like if you in love with a girl, you got a wife, blah blah blah, and she not at home one day, you horny, you jack off, nigga, you cheating on your wife. You feel me, like because. <laughs> Yo, KJ, what? Niggas, that's not uh, cheating on I your mean, wife. You gotta go back to the original, the book, the Bible. Like that's you. You ain't supposed to be doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And which which version of the Bible? You gotta see which version of the Bible you read. Original King James version. Who was King James? Man, this is not about King James. Yeah, it, yes, it is because who the fuck is King James? This is which about me. I never asked that question. That I just always seen the King James version. Yeah, this is the one. Who the hell is King James? Well, I don't I mean, know. I don't worship. I don't the white know neither. Jesus. So I'm just saying, I don't know who that is. I so don't worship the white Jesus. So I, I, I take. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I believe in the Bible, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that as law because first of all, it's just it's just very old text. Very. That shit is from the goddamn. And then if it's not. And then you got to think about it. Somebody interpreted it. It's not even, this is just like, a, uh, I think this is what he was trying to say. Type but, of thing. but how can you be saying, how can you say that about the Bible? And then like everything that's in the fucking Bible is happening today. And that book was written so long ago. My thing with the you, Bible. Well, yeah, I, don't, I believe to, in it, but I'm not going to take it as law. I'm like, I'm not going to say like, yeah, nigga. Read it yourself. Yeah, for sure. Like, because the Bible is amazing. Yeah, yeah, it'll like, it'll tell you exactly about you right it'll, now. It'll it'll if you read it, like the words will make sense. I can't even explain the shit sometimes. Like you will read it and laugh because yeah. like you'd be like, wow, like that's that's real right there. Yeah, the you Bible. But this is what I'm saying though, mm-hmm. you can't take, and this is not even about the Bible. You just can't take something and just make it law because it's too much gray area and new and just nuance in the world where shit is just a little different than how it would be in the perfect situation of this situation so when i forgot how we got onto this what was it talking about we were talking about like, oh, cheating no, on your we, bitch yeah we bounced oh so cheating on so because he was talking about he was in a seven-year relationship so, and, he never cheated, so and then he was like you cheating on your girl beating your me jacking off cheating on your girl yeah. how do we start talking about the bible oh you said because he was like because the, the bible, bible oh there. okay so when i'm so when it comes to say stuff like um when it comes to like adultery and spare the ride, spoil the kids and all that stuff, like I'm not gonna take none of that as law, but I'll keep it in consideration. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna whoop my kids' ass, but I'm just saying. Like, yeah, but I might not. But the Bible tells you to whoop your kids' ass. That's what spare the ride. That's what I'm spoiled. saying. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> I'm not gonna whoop my kids' ass just because the Bible says so. If my kid just fucking chilling. But, but we wow. didn't get ass whooping because the Bible says so. That was just part of the reason why we got ass whooping. <laughs> You but, know what I'm saying? But <laughs> like, I'm saying though, I'm not gonna be like, 
That's not gonna go into my decision making time, about whooping his ass. Like if time, I'm like, no, nah, I ain't gonna whoop that nigga, and then go sit down, read the Bible, and the Bible yeah. be like, spit the rice, put it kind of like, nope, never mind. And I go back whoop. Well, what yeah, the fuck I look like? That's but crazy. Like I said, our parents didn't do that shit. We was getting ass whoopings off the strength. Yeah, I but I don't think our parents like, ever had this conversation that we had right now, where they like, right. I don't think our parents but, even but actually the time, made the correlation. Well, they probably did, but they never actually. Made the correlation to, but at the same time, look, it, whipping your kids, it made us into the men we are. Like Facts. we don't think we we don't. A lot of me look at people like you didn't get your ass whipped as a kid, and yeah, I can you tell. Can tell. You like you know can. what I'm saying. Yeah. So at the same time, it's, that's but that's what I mean about the Bible though. Like, th- like even though you don't have to take it as law, the shit relates to real life so fluently. It's just like, like damn, because that's not the only thing in the Bible that correlates to real life so easily to me. Like it's a lot of stuff in the Bible that's just like. Yo, that's real life shit. That, that happens Yeah, but day. that's... I agree with like, you, even but that's not what I'm Even the stories in the Bible saying. about how people do each other, like, I'm like, that yeah, shit Yeah, I agree with you, but I'm trying day. to say... I'm trying to say just because it's in the Bible don't mean it is law. I feel like the, it's, it's just, just, it's just a I'm point saying. of reference. Like, yeah, it's a great it's point a, of reference. It's a, it's, a, it's a good thing to work around. The whole Christian, it's all... It's no one... It shouldn't, it shouldn't be one way to be a Christian. Shouldn't be one way to be anything. You don't want nothing to be monolithic and everybody move as one because then y'all are y'all even really but moving. But my thing is, people are so quick to discredit the Bible, and I just be I just feel like that just shows you how much power the book has. Mm-hmm. Because don't nobody don't know other book get this much contra- has this much controversy over it than the Bible. Like no no other book like people take the Bible and and use it to to. Like to discredit people and and convince people, they don't use the Quran. They don't use other books. They use the Bible to to you know to spread an influence, whether it be good or bad. And I just that's why it's constantly the number one book in the world sold every year. But you got to be careful with that shit though, because like, like it's well, the most also, powerful thing in the world. Well, also, um, people don't use the Quran and other stuff like that because niggas don't know what that is. I mean, regardless though, and I believe the Quran is a pretty good book too. That's yeah. that's what I'm that's saying. So when you say down. niggas don't use the Quran, they use the Bible. Christians use the Bible, and you probably but, deal with mostly Christians, which is why you would think that niggas don't use the Quran. Because it's niggas at, out, at, it's niggas at, out there who don't mention the Bible. Look at look at slavery though. <laughs> they use that. They use the Bible to push that influence against us, which is why you have exactly black people. Jesus which created. is exactly why you got to take it with a grain of salt. That's my whole point. Mm-hmm. That's what right. I'm saying, though. Because if it was law, why the hell was we slaves? Why it was going down? Yeah. If this is law and this is exactly how it's supposed to go down, yeah. is slavery exactly how it's supposed to go down? That's what I'm saying. So, don't just. I mean, yeah, the Bible will talk to your ass like your damn mama, and okay. it'll really tell you about yourself, and you'll be like, kind of feeling like, damn, like how did how did they know? But <laughs> at the same time, like I said, I but you gotta take everything, not just the Bible. Take every Life everything itself. you learn yeah. with a grain of salt. Don't just take it as that's what it is. Cause you said, and that's why God gave us free will. Cause at the end of the day, you still gotta make your own decision. Yeah, cause you can't, cause you, know you can't tell me the Bible is can't um be like. Uh, advanced, improved. You can't say like that's how you do it. That's like a conservative. The way of thinking is like this well, is it. This is what it is. Don't differ from this. You differ from this. It's not it no more. Like it can you can advance the religion to fit the times when the Bible was written. It it was probably way more literal because yeah. that's how the times was. Now is we have to kind of interpret it a little different to make it fit current yeah, situation I mean, so i, I don't like think there's nothing wrong with improving it and adding more to it's it. revelations right there like mm-hmm. revelations is the improvement the the you know what i'm saying like the end that's, that's why i feel like we are in, in that time yeah but you can add more when i say improve like, it i mean update it to where it's more just the like it, the bible it, it's more experiences it's more stories to be told is what I mean. I mean add add to it, like add to the stories. It's more it's way more stories to be told and it's like I don't know if forever and ever and ever we're gonna live off the same ones. Which I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, but what's wrong with advancing it also? I think I think people don't change, just times do. So that's why it's always gonna be relevant. Because people are always they always gonna be the same. They No, like that's the, not true, bro. People the, change, bro. Bullshit. People used to I don't know. People the same. No, nah, people change. The times if you don't change. think Times like change the environment, the, the technology. That's all going to change. But the human nature of people has always been the same. Yeah. We've been going to war since 
forever. Yeah, but okay, certain things forever. about people don't change, but to say people don't change is ludicrous, bro. Look at look at just how far like just p- people have came in the past, you know, well, 500 yeah, we, years, bro. We, we can we went from that's but change. What do you mean? What does advancing really, mean? Like I'm talking about the, the the entire human race as a as a whole as humans. Like we don't change our nature. You know what I'm saying? Like we are always gonna be the same in nature. We're gonna change our environment. We're gonna adapt to our environment, but we're not gonna change. Adapting to your environment is changing to me, because that's literally what that means. But I see what you're saying when you say when you. I mean, kinda like. I don't really see what you're saying, bro. Humans change, bro. I'm not hearing it. We've been doing the same disagree. shit forever as as a people. We we do the same like, shit, but I don't think that we always gonna try just to just because a way humans to make... do the same shit. I don't think that they're just like the humans before. Like for example, when um humans are uh what's the word? We go by um uh, routine. We really just do shit that's been done already. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like that don't mean. That's why we I, don't but, change. But that's it's just we, we just fall in itself. line to what's already being done that, until somebody changes that shit. And that's why I can't that's, agree that humans don't change. Because if humans didn't change, we would be slaves right now today. Not, or saying. would we have? Or you know what I'm saying? Like we, if humans didn't change, we would still be in the fucked up situations where humans was at their worst. If humans didn't change, the Nazis would be running shit still. If humans didn't change, humans had to change for us to be even able to be where we at right now is what i'm I mean, saying we, we we like i said we've made changes to, to shit bro Nigga, you just but refuse like, to say that we change like, bro because you just won't say still people out there that, that believe in that in that that's in that them shit. people so you can't you know say all people don't change because it's racist like, niggas in the we woods adapt. we we adapt like but I That's feel like changing, as, bro. As, as people, bro, people always going to do the same shit they always been doing. Well, when you talk about war and shit like that, I feel like that's going to always happen because it's really, that's the best way to get some shit done. I mean, shit. But that that's that's that don't that, change. That's, that's, that's shit what I'm saying. Beat a nigga ass is always handles a problem. Human nature. You know what I'm saying? That's But part that's of not the, even human nature. That's just nature, nigga. Anything. Like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Animals like, fight each other. Nigga, fish mm-hmm. fight each other. I don't. Yeah, would, I, I, I think wouldn't. That's something like predatorial instinct. Like yeah. I wouldn't even call it that. It's just if we have a conflict, bro, that we can't seem to resolve, we I'm, gotta get physical. It's just <laughs> not. It's, it's like it's literally, it's but literally just physics, bro. Even, we gonna get physical. Even the, even it's still, no other even, way out of this. Even still, like with the whole like even re, like how niggas ha- like how we handle relationships and shit like that. Like niggas been doing the same shit with bitches for years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like for years they've been doing the same shit. Even like how we handle like all of that, how we handle our families, like our everyday lives is what I'm talking about as human beings. Like how we handle that shit is always gonna is always gonna be the same. The man, like the society always tells us the man is the hunter gatherer. Like uh, in the old mm-hmm. days they hunted and they had to go hunt for food. Now we gotta go to work for the shit. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Now of course women do the shit too, but that's what they wanted to do anyways. So that's what I mean when I say they adapted to <laughs> anyways. Shit. That's what they they adapted to okay, we want to help type shit like And now right. you mad? You know what I'm saying? That's and that's why they had the whole human the women rights movement back in the day and shit. Because that's what they wanted to do so like, all right, y'all can work too and shit. You feel me? But that's <laughs> what I, that's what I'm saying. Like we, I don't, we always going to do the same shit as a people like as as humans, nigga. We're not going to change how how we handle how we go about our daily lives like with our families and shit like that. We just gonna adapt to our own like and to, to our times. Like back then, they had to hunt because that's how they had to do it. Now we gotta go to work, and in the future, who knows how the fuck it's gonna be? But I promise you, it's still gonna be a man leading and everybody else following. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean when I say the Bible teaches those how, like how to handle those situations, and that is what's never gonna change. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean when I say people are gonna are always gonna be the same. Like and and from a family standpoint. Like, so you saying people will always be the same in this one instance? I mean, but it's the it's the same thing though. Like as, throughout time and throughout history, it's gonna be the same thing. Like, in that I'm, one I'm, instance. But that's life though. Like whatever, what else is there? That's that's life as a whole. That's your everyday life. Like that's what you deal with every day when you wake up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like as a as a man, that's what you deal with every day when you wake up in the morning. Everything else is some shit you you'll run into just living life but every day when you wake up you gotta deal with your wife and whatever family you have in your house Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but but that don't okay i I agree with you but 
I'm st- I don't I don't know what you mean by people don't change. Which what I'm what I'm hearing from you is people a structure works and people repeatedly do what works. And you saying people don't change because they do what works. I'm just saying people would change if that shit didn't work. They only keep doing it because that shit works, right? Well, they, yeah. the man works more because he's physically able to do more. But it's not because saying. Society tells us to no, but nigga. If you I'm, ever worked at somewhere, is like, like uh, how to handle that responsibility, like as a man, like how to actually go about it as a man. Of course, you know you gotta do it, but niggas handle it differently, and some niggas are terrible at it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, how to, so I agree. Like, it, the, that's what I'm. That's what I mean when I say it's not gonna change. So this is the like point of reference how to handle it, how to bear the weight of the man of the household. You know what I'm saying? And go about. Like so, you saying it gives you a way? Which is, which is it gives you, you a way it. that if you want to be of uh, the man of the house, you can look to the Bible for a reference for for, for, for a point guidance. Of that's 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 what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I the spirit of all I spoiled the child shit. Like all of that. Like I think it's I forget what book it is. I was just reading. My favorite book it is, but that whole that whole chapter in there teach you how to be. Spread a rod, sport a child. I'm I'm down with I'm down with whooping some ass, but at the same time, I'm not going. Yeah, I mean, the fact that like, I the fact that I just I don't know. I just I just kind of know, bro. Of course, you ain't gonna beat your kids for any and everything they fucking do. Why? Like, I'm not gonna whoop my kids. Nah, for I'm anything. playing. Huh? Like, I'm not gonna whoop them for anything. I'm gonna whoop them for shit that they definitely. Know they finna get an ass from for like some shit they already know like. Nah, this nigga oh, nah. I don't know, bro. I'm not. I don't even know if I'm whoop them. I don't even know these little niggas yet. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna whoop them. that ass every time they fuck up. Like not when they do nothing too bad, but like they need to know. It needs I'm gonna to be talk to my kids though. Like I want, I don't want my kids to fear me. Like I want them to know I'm dad. But like at the same oh, time, that. My be kids, able to come to me and tell I me. I feared shit. my father. My kids gonna fear me. I'm still, t- I'm 30 years old, still terrified of my dad. My dad's sick as fuck in a nursing home. Like, I, I want them to respect me. Like, I don't want them to be scared of me. I want them to be able to be like, I, I can tell them, like, I fucked up. Let me go, let me call my, let me call my dad. Uh-uh. See, like, <laughs> I, I respect my dad, but like I said, I'm also scared of my dad. But I mean, like, like I feel you. Like, fear you came, like that? fear you like came that? now that I'm an adult and I realize, like, I wouldn't be who I am today without that shit. So, yeah, I, Thank like, my dad for every ass whooping I ever got. Well, I, think yeah, it's, but, I think it's the same thing. We just call it something different because I I, I respect my dad too. Like and the, like I would never fight my daddy. Like even if I could, even if I knew I could whoop him, I wouldn't because it's just a respect. Yeah, thing. exactly. So you know what I'm saying. Well, like, what do you mean when you say fight him? Why are we fighting? I mean, you, you're right. Because yeah, know. my you daddy. It it, it is know. possible that my daddy has me fucked up right now, and I it gets physical. It is possible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not probable. Possible. We probably won't. If, it, if but it, like I can see it. But I mean, if a nigga disrespects you on some, yeah, as like a man just, yeah, shit, like we, yeah, we can get, to, we can go to the backyard, but, bro. Yeah, just so you just know, on some, I'm, fin- I'm, 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 fin- I'm, I'm big dog. I can try my daddy now, like that's high school me. shit. I tried that though. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't try to fight him, but what? we got it. We we went at it. But I'm too old for that shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm past. Yeah, yeah. I'm too. I don't even live with this nigga. I haven't lived with my dad in six <laughs> years, bro. What do I look like telling him I'm big dog of what of his house? <laughs> Not big dog of his house. I don't even live here, bro. Like, that know, can't even make sense. You never know. You know, how niggas. But I feel you though. It do give you a point of reference. I'm just saying, uh, people change. People evolve. People don't think the same. People don't even like all the shit that they. You can use. This is my point. People, um, white people during slavery used the Bible as an excuse to. For, slaves, for yeah. slavery So my point is You yeah. can interpret that shit To mean any, whatever any the hell way. You want it to mean Yeah So don't get caught up On it too much Now I ain't saying Don't I ain't saying Don't read it neither But that's why Cause I definitely read it, it But don't Don't get that's caught Too much on it Cause you can it. Interpret these words To mean even, Whatever you think They even, mean Even preachers Do the same shit Like preachers Are corrupt as hell They do the same shit You said 45 Oh, but yeah. we ain't talked about nothing but the NBA. We didn't even talk about the NBA yeah. coming back. KJ started off. He, he said, nigga, what did he say at the beginning? Blew started, up the scene. <laughs> fuck the government. No. <laughs> <laughs> you started talking about that shit with the Rockets. You were talking about how you the biggest Rockets fan. Oh, now. and, and you, I said it was you racist. Said it was all right, racist. so now we got to run down all our uh, topics in the last 15 minutes. Okay. So the NBA is back. The Rockets went crazy. The Lakers beat the uh, Clippers barely. Uh, the Lakers lost to the pe- – uh, who did they lose to last night? The Lakers lost to the. They lost last night. The Lakers lost last night um, to the Raptors, and the Rockets play the Bucks tonight. We're gonna beat their ass. The Rockets came back from down. I don't remember what we was down, but we was losing all game, bro. If you was watching that game as a Rockets fan, we was playing good, but we could not stop them at all. It was really no. It wasn't a lot of hope, bro, until the very end, and all of a sudden. 
we start hitting three like the very end, like four right. minutes left. We just came, but next thing you know, we down seven with a minute left. So where it's like mm, we could possibly score, I mean win, but you know when you down in two K and you like I can do it, but I probably yeah, lost yeah. this hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I can possibly if a few things go my way, I hitting, get a I few turnovers, I green some, we can win, but what are the chances? Nah. And everything <laughs> went perfect, and we and we start hey, making them. And then like, it, let me go get my excuse ready. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that's how it was. I was ready to text my partner. Like, I ain't giving you shit. Cause we bet money on it anyway. Next thing you know, bro, we hit the little buzzer beater, sent that hoe to overtime, and I knew we was gonna win once we went to overtime, bro. Uh, Luca had five fouls; he fouled out immediately. Mm. To get him out of there. Um, Rockets won. The, um, what else? Tory Lane shot Meg. KJ, you said you had something to say about um, about Tory shooting shooting Meg and her foots in both of them. Good job, nigga. I shoot <laughs> too. Nah, I'm just saying the bitch fuck with me. I'm gonna blow that bitch kneecap off, bro. I don't know why he shot her in the foot. He should have shot her in the kneecap. But I mean, like they saying you can't. Hold on, keep going. But before you go, we do not condone these words. Go ahead. Do not condone shooting bitches. <laughs> <laughs> don't try this at home. But um, For yeah, no reason. like I don't know. Like I don't know the circumstance that was going on. Like like I was listening to uh, what is it, Joe Budden and that other dude. Uh, talk about like that was definitely a Chris Brown or Rihanna moment. Like, who knows what the fuck was going on inside of that car? You yeah, but this me? is different because he shot her. He if shot Chris Brown would have shot Rihanna, nigga, you're wrong. Is just the end of it. Yeah, yeah. he punched her in the fucking eye. Like, Which, what's hey, the look, difference? Don't hey, don't get me wrong. He's wrong. <laughs> hey, look, you know, you know, my partners get mad at me because when I, every time they bring up Chris Brown, I be like, bro, he beat bitches. They be like, oh my god, that was a long time ago. She hit him too. I'm like, bro, who cares, bro? He beat the shit out of her, he bit her. Him. Elbowed her What's Like yo niggas? If why? one of y'all niggas did it We would not be friends right now Just why, so you why, know why, Yeah why do niggas be trying to condone Beating hoes Why up? do niggas try to make me condone If you condone it That's you Why do <laughs> I have to condone it That's my thing bro <laughs> like, Why do I gotta be okay with you Whooping the that's bitch That's not ass? cool Like yo I think that like, shit is weird bro I don't like weirdos Beating girls up is not cool bro Unless the bitch threatening your life Even then I, I mean, what? How? What kind of threat? If a bitch like, say, if I'm gonna you, kill you. No, I'm talking about if she actively, if she actively <laughs> is, is, is coming at you with a knife or some shit, then by all means, you can hit it with a nice little right hook. Yeah. Hey. Well, right. okay. That's now, she has a, a murderous weapon in her that's hand. You saying. can murk her ass. That's what I'm saying. Like, but if in, in any t- other case, so but that's the only time you're, it's cool. Though. You ain't never been in that situation. Me, yeah. I have. I have been in that. I've been in that exact situation. And and, and, yeah. and you ain't hit that hoe. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> no, I didn't hit. I, I swear to God, right hand to the man. I did not punch her. The worst. I thing didn't I, strike her at all. I think all. the worst thing I ever did to a girl was probably. Nah, I ain't gonna say this. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was gonna say. But now, now everybody questioning you, nigga. Now you gotta come up with a lie that's not that bad, real quick. The worst thing you ever did to a girl was hug him and show him a good time and, and tell him that I didn't want to be with him anymore. Yeah. Hey, listen, I. I don't know what this nigga talking about, bro. <laughs> I ain't, the worst thing I ever did to girl was nothing, bro. I ain't never did nothing in damn one of you. All, but like, all fairness, y'all watching, I ain't, I ain't never did nothing to you. In fairness, she bit a piece of my body off. I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna cap. The worst thing I ever did to a female. My shoulder, nigga. My shoulder. Who bit your shoulder off, bro? You know what I'm saying? There you go right damn. there. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like it was unprovoked. <laughs> She had it coming. <laughs> oh. Worst thing I did was just drop the and bitch then, off on the middle of the freeway. Oh, you told her to get out? Yeah. That's not that bad. Bye. That's a lot better than knocking her ass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Especially if she made it home safe. Like, And then I, don't, I wouldn't want to hit the bitch anyway. Like, I'm the type of nigga that I'd rather, like, I angry fuck you. Like, <laughs> like I, <laughs> I'm sorry for the for the people at home. <laughs> he said I angry fuck you. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I mean. I ain't, I ain't never been the one to hit a girl like I yo. Take it out on your vagina. I done been in a situation where a sharp object is flying at a high velocity of speed at my face. Nah, yeah, girl's crazy, bro. Girl, and I had to weave that hoe. I've been stabbed <sighs> twice. I almost got stabbed in the face. Oh, yeah, you almost With scissors, bro. Yeah. That were open and thrown like this, like, so they could the really worst, hit me with the them. The worst hard. weaponry ever used against me was the, the sharp shot of the hammer. You told us about that. Yeah. Same you told us she tried to knock, she tried to yeah. kill you. Yeah. The backside of the hammer. I didn't have Now, I, okay, in her defense, I don't think she thought the scissors was going to kill me, but I, no way in hell you didn't think that that was going to hurt and fuck my face up. I don't even know if you was aiming at my face because she just. <clears throat> Quick, it happened so fast, bro. 
and I saw it. Hey. Yo, I saw the scissors. You know, in the movies, how they both, the <laughs> you know how they both look at the gun. You know how they both look at the gun. I saw the scissors, and in my head, I'm like, no. Yo, she better not grab them. And it's, before I even could finish the thought, she's slapping it with her hand. And I'm like, oh, here we go. So I got in, I got in the D cam. I got in the DB stance. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here them hoes coming. I knew they was coming, bro. And just like I thought, boy, through them things. I had to, oh, and I just watched it just go by my face and hit the wall. I say, what the fuck just happened? It all went like, in slow motion, bro. You be like, I was like, oh, this man, you just trying to, try yeah. to take me out the game. <laughs> and, and look, in my defense, <laughs> no, in her defense, I took her phone and was running around with it. But in my defense, is that a reason to try to kill somebody? No, bro? girls can always. Golly. I always outshine you, bro. This is my thing. I don't even have your combination, bro. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't Girl, even have your combination. Nah, I'm just nah. running around in circles like, ah, you can't get it. Girls can always take it. And to, then I could to, just see the, the angry the in her level. face. Yeah. And then I saw the scissors. I said, I think I fucked up. <laughs> next year. Mm, I said, oh, Girls shit. are crazy. They're going to always take it to the That's next not level. even necessary, though, bro. Like, you could have just... just um, I don't know what you could have just did, that's but why, you didn't have why, to try to kill me. Like, I bet whatever whatever bro did to get his car set on fire was nowhere oh, near. That blew was up. nowhere near that fucking bad. Something stupid went out and didn't tell her about it. Like it was probably some dumbass shit, and she was like, "I right, bet that fucking car he likes so much." Yeah. All okay, right. so Tory shot Meg. You really? That's really how you feel? Like I stand by my word. Okay, okay. I heard you loud and clear. Jelaine Maxwell uh, is. Um, you familiar with her? I don't know who that is. You? I, I mean, we, we glazed over her last time we was here. No, I didn't glaze over anything. I don't like that word. Um, Pause. Jelaine J- Maxwell is a white woman who actually might not be white. Um, I don't know why I even said that. Kevin, let's shout out to you. Because he <laughs> said I point out race a lot which makes me racist which i then said black people can't be racist speaking and of racism he then said huh are y'all trying to go to harrison arkansas who? no um <laughs> that don't even sound fun what it's the most racist town in america i'm down so why would you, you see go the there? video Mm-mm. with the, the uh the white dude with the black the black lives matter sign he was standing outside oh and they was all riding by yeah uh-huh. like that shit was fucking hilarious that is funny bro but no i am 100 percent terrified of country white people <laughs> and it's not not on the, like one-on-one man-to-man type stuff it's just i know they all got each other backs it's like i would Look, they would disappear my bitch there, ass what i, I want to go out there i wanted to go out there just for like a couple hours and just walk around like just see how, how oh hell see i'm di- see i don't know bro it. see type this is me bro i get depressed don't get me wrong but i love living Bro, we ain't and when I'm in the, die. you don't know that. Yeah, that's, but I'm saying though, no, I think we are. That's the difference. We're there. not gonna die because it's gonna be too much of a hassle for them to kill us. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> all I'm gonna say. Have you ever? You think <laughs> you think it wasn't a hassle to kill all the rest of the niggas they didn't killed in the world? No, it's gonna be a hassle. Like yeah, they're gonna be like, damn, we should we probably should just just say nigger and keep moving. Okay, but all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, with don't get me wrong, I'm with I'm with the fighting racism. But when you talking about one deep in they town, two deep, just us, bro, it's small. It's still they town. Damn. What that, wh- bro? We I not gonna, like we not gonna provoke nothing. Down. We just gonna go out there and just do I, shit. I, I understand. I understand the energy of I lay all y'all. We're not down. gonna eat no but food. But do I want to go out there and? I just want to be in that situation to where they, what if, what if in the midst of you laying them down, they get you twice? My thing is, I just want to see how much, if they had that same type of energy, if a nigga really pull up in this bitch, like, they're not going to, they're not going to just start shooting off the rip. And if they do, then fuck it. But like, like, they just going to say nigger and be like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, so you going want you going to look. You can't. Yeah, I just want to say something. Feel good about I got caught a nigger about if you go out camp Kevin Apartments, <laughs> go right at that light and bust But no, it's right different. It's light. different. I got caught a nigger right there. I you ain't got to go that. to Arkansas. I understand. But it's different when it's Ar- fucking Harrison, Arkansas. Yeah, How is it different than when it's in your hometown? Place, the most racist because place. In my hometown, I got my pistol in my lap. So, well, so you would rather get caught a nigger in, in Arkansas. Harrison, Arkansas? They mean that shit. Like, Facts. like niggas out here just saying it just to be cool and shit. Yeah. Out there, they mean that shit. Like, so it's like it's like almost like going back in the time castle. It's almost like going back to going back to life in the in the in the in the in the sixties when everybody was like that. Like I just want to go same, out there and see. The same niggas who ride by and call you niggers are those people. 
they're I not doing wanna, that because they're. Cool. I just want to see like how the energy is when it's the whole society is like that against you. I don't why know why. do you want to see? I don't know why I want to see. Am I tripping, Kevin? I want to. Am I tripping for thinking that's a terrible idea? What is wrong with these niggas? But I just want to see, bro. Like I'm curious, honestly. I it's a lot see. of. Hey, this is my papa told me. It's a lot of curious niggas uh, down there on Lee Road. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, I don't even think it's a funeral home on Lee Road. But he was talking about the funeral home. Man, listen, they not gonna go that hard. And basically, he was saying it's a lot of dead curious niggas. I mean, they not I wasn't even hard. talking about going to a racist ass town. Yo, listen, my daddy <clears> told me if you ever invite a Texas nigga, keep going. And that's just Vida, Texas. You want me to go to something that's like worse than that? Worse. I'm not going. Why? Bro, Why would I go? go? That sounds like a setup. Would you go deep. to? That's like just going. We All right, gonna... let me ask you something, Kevin. Cam, have you ever felt like your life was really in danger and you might not finna make it out of here and not make it home? Yeah. Why the fuck would you want to go do that again, bro? I don't feel like that out there. I'm gonna shit it on my goddamn self. Right? <laughs> I, I thought it was felt like that. I didn't feel like that, and nah, I it ain't. Feel like that. But okay, th- right after it happened, you know that adrenaline rush, you're like, oh, I feel good. But boy, why is happening? I don't be scared, though. I be ready. Like, that's the only thing I You don't do. think you're scared because it's happening so fast. So I'm it's just like. ready. Like, man, but I was scared one time, bro. I thought, I was, I thought, I, I thought it was over. I just get, yeah, I just I, get ready for it. We still extremes. going, Kevin? We still good? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, bro, they just gonna they just gonna say a bunch of bullshit. I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna just walk around. I'm gonna go in stores. I'm gonna go get some some guards. I'm not gonna smoke. I'm gonna just go get some guards or some shit. Walk around, go in Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Just to see like how people like. What are you gonna do with them? What niggas? are you gonna do with guards? Take them back to Texas and, <laughs> and, and, and use them for scientific examination. All right, whatever. Um, I don't want to go with y'all, but y'all have a blast. Record everything. Definitely, bro. That's what I'm saying. We got to go see, like. Stop saying we, you and KJ. This nigga. <laughs> now, me and Kevin, Kevin, we're not going. Me and Kevin are going. Why what you, do you mean what, Kevin for gets what? along with them? You right. Kevin would be like, hold on, guys. Yeah, Kevin's Kevin's misunderstanding, home. misunderstanding. <laughs> hold on, I speak these guys' language. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cause my thing is, bro, it was just how stiff they was being about the shit, bro. They was even though they was just like on some, you know what I'm saying? They was like, get the fuck out of town. That shit don't mean shit here. Yeah. I'm like, but this my thing though. Do you God, do you have to? This my thing though, bro. I always and I just want to like, ask them. Like I always dude. felt like I could learn from other people. A wise man, uh, a fool learn from his own mistakes. A wise man learn from others. I just want. I ask. don't have to go through some shit I to be like. Ask. For for me to know that that was some crazy shit. So when no, no. I see racist ass white people, they don't have to come to my front door and call me a nigga personally for me to believe that they act. I'm like not that. scared. But why I just want to ask. I just want to ask them why are y'all like what is nigga? You think they want to talk to you? What are you, Doctor <laughs> Fucking Phil? I just want to ask. They gonna talk to Cam ass. Hey guys, I just want to just sit down for a I second, bro. I've never just met nobody that racist. I done met some racist motherfuckers, but I ain't never met nobody. That fucking racist. Oh, I so, done met some so racist. I want to. I want to ask motherfuckers like, what's what's wrong you with niggas? You probably have met motherfuckers that racist. They just very good at hiding it. Yeah. Well, I was still probably, but what's we wrong went to with school niggas? with some of them? I believe it, but what's wrong with niggas? Like, why y'all hate us so much? Because we don't really don't not like y'all like that. We don't like y'all because y'all don't like us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's so, literally what I be trying to point out. But listen, <laughs> what um. <laughs> You just hit it on the head like, duh, y'all started this gangster <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nigga, now y'all mad. Like, so what's the problem? Like, what did we do? Like, what's what's the deal? Like, you don't have to ask them that, Cam. Just go, what do you mean, what did we do? Nigga, we was not because humans the at thing first. About it is, you gotta understand, six, imagine, look, this imagine our pets become fucking, imagine next year they like, Yoshi can vote. That's how they saw it. Like, what this, the fuck? These niggas can vote? Look, six, He's an people, idiot. How many people right now can you can you name that you just hate right now? That I that that, that I personally that still you, know, or just that exists in the world that you personally still know, like yourself, that I still that, communicate with, like that, that you hate. hate. That, you know what I'm saying? Probably zero, but it's one nigga but, who. Ooh, okay. If I got a chance to fight anybody, <laughs> but he's listen, but listen, the, the reason I want to ask is because these people hate you like that as soon as they see you. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I'm like, I don't even know you, nigga. How do you hate me that much, and you don't even know me yet? Like, you know what I'm saying? Part because that's what I want to know. Like, how how can you have that? In, like, how can you have that? Like inside you. And like, you, you know what? You know what they might tell you off the site. Like, you know what they might tell you? The Bible told them to hold their values until they fucking die. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to say, bro, change. 
Sometimes it's okay just, to change. It's just and that's that's just what I want to see. Like how can how can you hate somebody? Like you hate me. You need nigga. to type in uh, look up <laughs> a dude named Daryl Davis. This nigga hates it. Type in type in me right now. Daryl Davis. Davis, cause he do exactly what you did. He apparently was the reason that like two hundred plus KKK members uh, dropped out of the KKK as a black dude. But we we gotta run through this shit again. Yeah. We keep stopping. Tori shot Meg. KJ likes it. He loves it. Cam, you, you what you? Well, uh, we don't know. This confirmed or not? It was some bullshit. I I'm, I'm like, yo, Tori, what the fuck, bro? You used to jam. I like say it. You don't know what that gangster bitch said to this nigga though. She's not that gangster, bro. How you know? What bitch I, is that gangster to make you shoot her unprovoked? Yo, me, bro. <laughs> I, I know people who... Look, you know the nigga who... I know Meg. She went to PV. Nah, I don't know Meg, bro. But I know people who know Meg and kicked it with Meg all the time. I've never heard not one ever story ever of Meg getting gangster loud, ratchet, nothing. She just cool. She's yeah. not one of them, she not one of them girls so, who be... Fighting and shit. I never even heard of Meg getting in a fight, and everybody hated on Meg at the same time. I never heard of her fighting nobody, none of that. Even I still, can't believe that she just all of a sudden just lashed out on Lil Tori. What could a nigga? What could a girl say to you to make you just shoot her? Like I'm nigga, gonna shoot this up. You would thing. never be Bryson Tiller. Yeah, you. That's why he <laughs> hit it better. Like, bah, bah, bah. I mean, come on, man. Just take take it on the chin, dog. It's cool. Don't she shoot. She probably it. was like, don't. No. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> that might that might did. You know that nigga Let short. Let me stop, bro, because this is how people got canceled for joking about it. But it it does have a lot of possibility for jokes. Terry Crews, yo, I Terry Crews, listen, we would jump your ass mm-hmm. if I seen you, bro. You better hope I don't never see you and I'm with a good amount of niggas, because I'm for sure jump your ass one on one. I think I got you just off of. Just off of want Terry to, Cruz but might you, don't got them hoes. He, he don't. might don't, bro. He might don't. Got them but this the hoes, thing, bro. though, like, you don't I, never want to go off mites. Yeah, what you mean? That, he let a grown man on the off chance he do got them hoes. You might have just fucked on up. the off chance he do got them hoes. That's a big ass dude who can fuck around, and knock your ass out, and yeah. you don't want to start the fight and lose it. Right. So I would, I would, I would, I would, I would make sure I'm protected before I pick it. KJ, you don't want to go out there start the fight and then get knocked the fuck out. That's you can never start the fight and lose. You don't know KJ. You never start the fight. Okay, well, let me catch you. You can. I mean, <laughs> but that's just not. You don't know. KJ. That's not I'm what you saying, should. If you do. start the fight, you have to you. win. You have to. <laughs> Give me the rules. You can't start that's, it and lose. That's, that's rules. So you that's can't law. pick your fight based on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. If, it, if it's fight. a nigga like Terry Crews, there is no losing for me, regardless if he knock me out or not. Because once I wake up, I'm going to go to the truck of my car and get that thing. He's like, not going to be there when you wake up. He's going yeah. home. Well, well Terry Crews, I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm on defense with Terry Crews. Well, or, 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 y'all can listen to me, and we all jump that nigga, and we just get him up out of here. We ain't got to worry about none of that y'all talking about. We just all punch on him at the same time. He can't whoop all of us. He might whoop you, Cam. This is why you go uh, in first. No, Kevin's 203. I'm the last. Send his man. ass in there, I'm head the last down. Terry Crews whooping. I'm going last because no. I'm because I don't want I don't want to fight. Should looking I at I go it. first, nigga. Fuck it. Uh, is that it? I'm Jelaine, go, we didn't even talk about Jelaine Maxwell. And really hit him Jelaine him Maxwell uh, is finna snitch, bro. They say her assassins is trying to kill her, which means they know there's assassins. Um, assassins. Mm-hmm. They're gonna make a movie about this shit in five years. Yeah. About assassins? No, about this whole situation. They're gonna make a movie called 2020 in five years. This shit's not gonna be it's, all, in, in all five years. Kids. It's gonna be too fresh. Nah, they got to do it at like 10. This shit going to be in the, the history books in the school, bro. Oh, okay. Hell definitely. yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, if they definitely. have school. Yeah, because niggas. This is what a lot of jobs is doing, bro. A lot of jobs is realizing that, yo, we've been paying all this rent and like all this fucking office supplies and all this shit for offices when we've been getting the same amount of work done and these niggas been working five hours a day from their house. Oh, yeah. So it's like, why should we ever open back up? And spend all that money just to have these niggas here. Because when you think about this, is what I'm saying when I say when you say people don't change, and I say we do. Coronavirus is gonna make us change. We just so set on eight hour work schedules, getting up, driving to work, and coming home. Who the fuck made up that? Why can't we just? Why? Why do we have to get up and go to work all the time? Especially if you work on a computer that you got at home. Why do we always have to get up, drive to work, stay there for eight hours, and go home? It's just we get so caught up in the. The routine of just life that we don't never challenge that shit. But well, coronavirus is making us challenge that shit. Now people are like, we still you know what? Work. I noticed they get a lot more work done when they when they only work four hour shifts opposed to eight. The other eight, the other four hours. But they, they get they, they overloading their ass with the work though. They they putting eight hour work days into 
Four hours. Can't have, but most of them eight hour work days are you can you get spend, that shit right, done yeah. in four days, in yeah. four hours. That's my whole point. You if you can focus, <laughs> yeah. would you rather focus for four hours and get yeah, all your shit done or bullshit some shit for eight hours? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So look, I smash that shit in. You got nine niggas working for real. But unless unless it's like unless it's like yo, if you if you stop at four hours, you only get paid for four hours. Then no, I'm gonna no, drag no, this no, shit drag, out to yeah. sixteen. But um, you got any finishing words, Cam? Shit. Hope the NFL season come back. That shit's not. That shit's done. You seen the MB, N, MLB two teams got yeah. uh, coronavirus. That shit's over, bro. You like Who watches baseball? I like baseball. You watch I, that shit? Yeah, I play like, baseball my whole do life. Do you watch it with your eyes or do you like have it out on his background? No, like, I watch it. Like I'm really into baseball. Bro, you probably like the last of a dying breed. I mean, that's what these bitches I like. Me. I like. <laughs> I like baseball. It's 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 boring to watch unless two good teams playing. Thing with baseball is, bro, who the fuck are the superstars, bro? How can your league thrive and nobody they knows who the fuck the superstars are? I, don't know I didn't say they didn't have. Them. I said baseball, nobody knows who they are. That's why baseball is loved by me because there isn't a uh, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James. Or, that's why I hate that shit. No. I don't want to watch a bunch of random ass niggas running baseball, around like they, fucking. They're not random. Nigga. Superstars like, I don't know you. Don't All I know is Mike much, Trout. In, in, yeah. Superstars don't matter as much as base, in baseball. So why they give a Rod two two hundred million dollar contracts? Fuck them. If nigga, they don't matter. Altuve, like our we got we got like five of the best. Baseball players in the nation on I Oscar. heard of Altuve. Yeah. That's all. I don't know nah, who these the, niggas the, are. The Astros, they said the Astros had like, when they won the World Series, they was like the Golden State Warriors. And they, they cheated, baseball. bro. Did they really cheat? No. They didn't? What nah. happened? I saw somebody talking about. They um, had some like beeper on their jersey? <laughs> no, nah, them niggas hate. Look, look, I saw somebody on ESPN. I think it was Lewis Riddick or something like that. He was like, I forget the nigga name. He was like, um, the fans in Houston are probably outraged that they heard the Astros cheating. I was like, that nigga I, ain't know I was like, that nigga must never been to Houston before. Shit, nigga, nigga don't give a goddamn. Give a goddamn. Who cheated? Y'all talking nothing? about that in <laughs> Mississippi? We don't give a fuck. We won. We don't give a fuck. But shit. Um. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, I can only hear myself when I talk directly into the mic. If I even come to the left, a it's been bit. real, so, fam. Hey, yeah, KJ in the mix. The motherfucking what's your nickname again? Smoke Daddy. Smoke. AKA. I feel like that's a new one. That wasn't it. Smoke even. Daddy, aka the kid that motherfucking did. Your local Ash and I come and see you live at five. You feel me? Burgers and fries. Holla at me later. <laughs>